things that you should know or you should do if you want to come to Germany and if you don't want to do all those things do not come to Germany do not move to Germany if you're not ready for these changes okay welcome back to another video this is the Phoebe way on this channel it's all about life in Germany how to be in Germany successfully how to make it and everything that you need to know about how to settle down in Germany properly and smoothly. So, a few weeks ago, I wrote an article for Dazzling Insights about 12 ways to settle in the country. And that was a bit um, connected or based on the first video that ever, ever did on YouTube, what you should know before you move to Germany. And as, as I was writing this, I realize that I've talked about how to prepare yourself for your mental health and how to have practical things to do like research before coming, know where you'll be working, know what you'll be doing and all of that. But I have not actually talked to you about the cultural things. I've talked about cultural shocks, of course. Check out that video. A lot of people think it's funny, <laughs> but it's the truth, it's the truth, it's the truth. But what I want you to know about if you want to come to Germany is that you should not think you can come to Germany and just not adapt and just not um, be confronted with certain things about your beliefs, about what you've always thought was true, about, um, yeah, basically about cultural issues, okay? So there are certain things that you should know or you should do if you want to come to Germany. And if you don't want to do all those things, do not come to Germany. Do not move to Germany if you're not ready for these changes, okay? Do not come to Germany if you're not ready for these changes. So, number one is, do not come to Germany if you're not ready to be open-minded, if you're not ready to work a pass, if you're not ready to turn a, a blind eye to things that you are not used to, you're not ready to be confronted with, if you're not ready to just let be and let live. Coming from a very, very strict Christian background, as a child, okay, I'm talking to you from my perspective as a child, as a child at the age of 12, with your puberty hormones raging and everything, it was still frowned upon to say, I have a boyfriend, okay? You are not supposed to have sex before marriage. You're not supposed to do so many things. But when I came to Germany, I saw kids my age saying, I'm going to my boyfriend's house. Mom knows that I'm coming. And, you know, similar situation, I was like, your mom knows that you have a boyfriend and you are going to their house and you're going to his room. Hey, wow. Because <laughs> back where I come from, it's not a village, okay? It's a city. It's a it's it's a city. Takrady is a city in Ghana. But you cannot say, oh boy, yeah, it's my boy. Who? The first thing you say is after you hear after you say this is my boyfriend, is Afro born. Say hey, listen, you will be labeled immediately, okay, just for saying you have a boyfriend and you, you've been kissed by a boyfriend. But here they are holding hands. Yeah, you have two friends fighting over a guy. These for this, for example, for me as a child was who? Okay. So if you are a parent trying to move to Germany, preparing yourself to move to Germany, these are some of the things you'll be confronted with. So do not come to Germany if you are not ready to see things not only from your biblical religious point of view. You have to see things in a different light as well. I'm not saying throw away your Bible, no. But you have to know that what is in your Bible is for you and not doesn't apply to everyone else. Because if if there are people who are not following the Bible, we wouldn't need salvation, obviously. Like, we would all be saved. So the fact that there are people who are doing other things, um, people who are doing other things that not things that you are used to, doesn't mean that you have to judge them, you have to condemn them, you have to be um, behaving poorly towards them. Just leave them alone, okay? What is in your Bible is for you and you. I'm not saying for you alone, but in that moment, just know that it is only what applies to only you and not to everybody. So, or not ev what everybody has accepted. So, you do not come to Germany if you're not ready to, uh, to accommodate or to tolerate or to let other religions or other ways of life thrive, okay? Let them be. So, that was one thing that was a shock for me. And one thing that made me know that if I want to stay here, I have to have a healthy way for myself to view 
these different ways of lifestyles or these different lives or these different ways of living. You're not ready to be open-minded about it and not going to be judging people. Then you can come. But if you know that you're going to be in Germany and you're going to be like, for example, there are certain Christians who think that homosexuality is a sin. People who are homosexuals are sinners. They don't have, they don't want to have anything to do with them whatsoever. There are other Christians who are a bit more liberal. They say there are people just like us. I'll hang out with them. I'm not perfect. They are not perfect. That's it. So it got to a point where I was looking for a job and my boss at that time was gay and he was married to his gay husband. It was a shock for me, but I told myself, the money is not gay. I beg, let me just do my job and go home, okay? So learn to separate these things and learn to be professional. If you're not ready to do that, you're going to lose a lot of chances just because you're being overly judgmental. This is my opinion, it doesn't have to apply to you, but this is supposed to serve as an incentive for you to know that moving to Germany is not just something that you just do. You're going to be confronted each and every day, okay? This is a very touchy topic but it is what it is if you are not ready to adapt and adjust and to let other people be please stay home if you are somebody living in Ghana for example and you think the LGBTQ right should not be passed or I mean it should be passed and LGBTQ people should not be able to allow to live freely in Ghana please then just stay in Ghana because here they are thriving they are people living their normal lives they are just going on about their lives people don't the sexuality to judge them or not all the time and the stigma and that violence that you people are in some of you are inciting upon homosexuals you cannot do that in germany here because it is his basic right to live as he pleases to and you cannot just go around and insult somebody like that it is a crime you just you cannot go around beating somebody it is a crime so if you think that is your lifestyle that you're living in in your country you cannot apply that to your lifestyle in Germany, or you're living in Germany, okay? So if you're not ready to be open-minded, please stay where you are, okay? If you're not ready to adapt to the wakapas or the life of a cat, you know when cats see something they don't want to see, they just close your eyes and keep it moving. If you're not ready to do that, then please do not move to Germany. Point number two, one thing that you should always be aware of is that in as much as Germany is a country that supports the um, economically weak people like families who are poor or somebody who is still looking for a job and all of that people who are asylum seekers they still get like something to get them by as as in money as in food coupons or food stamps or whatnot do not come with the sole mission or sole aim to leech off the government and the help that it renders to its citizens do not do that because that's why I always say that when you're coming to Germany, make sure that you're coming with the purpose to work, to study or something, you know, come here to add pay taxes and all because that is how the country has been built so far. So if you are coming to just take the monthly um, money, take your um, kindergarten, take this, take that, take that, get your free house and everything, it is frowned upon and people, a lot of people do not like foreigners like that. So if you are coming to Germany without the, the readiness to pay your own quota to the society, please do not come. To, a lot of people would, would probably be like, why are you saying this? But that is the truth. That is just the simple truth. If you think that, because a lot of people always ask me, I want to apply for asylum, this, I want to apply. Listen, some of you are not even eligi eligible for asylum. Some of you are not eligible for asylum. So if you are away and you are a nurse, you are a medical practitioner, Please stay tuned. There is a video coming for the EU Blue Card that you can try to apply for. That is something that you can do. But you cannot, you cannot, I mean you should not come to Germany with the sole aim of I'm coming here to, to, to be getting the monthly. Please don't do that. Be a visitor, be a good visitor, be a humble visitor, be a goodwill visitor and just as some of our cultures teach us, as a visitor, when you go somewhere, you go with like you, you don't go empty-handed, so you come here with your skills to build a country as well. Because if everybody was coming to take from the country, the country wouldn't be there for you to think that it's a good country for me to come to. Let me, let me just take a break and sip on my tea. It's mint tea with ginger, so the mint from our garden, and ginger, like fresh ginger, so. I'm feeling to let me drink tea. Mm -hmm. Okay, so.
so the third point I've talked about being open-minded I've talked about coming with a purpose or with the right purpose so do not move to Germany if you're not here to add to the society as well okay number three is come with the willingness to integrate I've said this over and over again but that's what it is integration also means that you have to adapt to this culture and I always say that come with a positive mind saying that I want to take from this culture what will help my life pick out the positive things combine it with the positive thing with the positive Pick out the positive things, combine it with the positive things from your culture and make the best out of it. So do one plus one is equal to more gains for you. Okay, so do not just write off the German culture saying, I, I remember growing up, I'll hear a lot of other Africans saying, oh, they don't have any culture, they don't have this. Their culture is different from yours, it doesn't mean they don't have any culture. So the moment you're coming here, be willing to know that the culture is just different, but your culture is not superior to German culture, no. Their culture being superior to yours, okay? It is just different. It is just different. And there's a reason why Germany has been able to make it this far. So if you want to also go far, you take elements that has helped them and apply it to your lives as well. Simple. This is what I personally think, but if you think you're not going to do that, then please just stay where you are. Be okay with your current status quo and if you're not ready to challenge yourself and come out of your comfort zone please do not move to Germany because Germany will shake you no matter what age Germany will shake okay willingness to integrate you can start from something like food okay yes I'm a foodie and everything but German food is basically like for me like Ghanaian food or even like Nigerian food we have the carbs so kartoffel, spätzle, noodle, knödel, whatever then we have the sauce and we have the meat and sometimes the vegetables as well so it is not that much difference it's basically the same elements but just different ways of preparing it so just try it and see don't start somewhere and be judging from across you know the fence it is not fair you miss out a lot you miss out a lot and the thing is nobody will show you the ways of the land like the real child of the land or the yeah the son of the land basically we have a program like that in in tree or something something like that like it's somebody from the from that village will show you the way to the king's house or something like i've forgotten but what i'm trying to tell you is if you're not friends with germans you wouldn't know how the german system works so please please be willing to integrate be willing to mingle be willing to you know be open for the interactions with the German for the German interactions okay and we've gotten the two big chunks that I wanted to get off my chest <laughs> now let's get into the practical tips so before moving to Germany before coming as I've talked about look out for your mental health be prepared for the fact that you're not going to surrender with friends and family as you're used to that's one thing and also be prepared for the different ways or the let me say the different um, atmosphere in, in the society so here in Germany people are more reserved don't think that it is something that is personal towards you but it's just how people are accept it I mean not accept it just also be reserved but know this and then act accordingly so if you want to make friends you might have to be the one approaching people you might have to be the one smiling first and all of that so be um, be aware of where you're going to which side of Germany you're going to how the culture is there because people from down south as i've already said down south they're a bit um reserved up north they are more open which is which for me is still kind of like contradictory because i think that people who are up up north will be more like reserved and people down south will be more open but this is how it is and people down south they're all about their work 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 on sunday evening but it's preparing to go to work and everything so read up and research on where you're going to and how you're going to um go about it, how you're going to fit yourself into that um, environment. Right? Let me hear your opinions, what you think about this topic, this video, in the comment section down below. Disclaimer, I am not bashing anybody. I just have observed certain things and I want us all to do better. And some of these things go like to me as well. I'm also learning and I'm learning with you guys as well. So I'm not just sitting on a high horse and just talking down. No, no, no. We are all learning together so let me hear your opinions and stay safe my people stay healthy see you same time next
next Sunday or maybe even on Thursday because some at these days I'm trying to put out more content so let me see you guys next time okay if you have not yet subscribed what are you waiting for mm -hmm. subscribe and let's get into um, interactions and all of that please do check out the community tab because sometimes I post relevant things about scholarships um, for students or people trying to be students in Germany so check out the community tab I have a lot of information there so please check it out and see what might help you all right this October there is the German um, Ghanaian week that is based on or dedicated to scholarships for Ghanaian students in Germany or people who are trying to study in Germany from the DAAD remember the students video so that is something you should be looking out for if you're trying to study in Germany guys take a care of yourselves and see you next time